This episode lived up to the third season's punchy reputation. There were times when it was difficult to turn away, and it concluded on one of the most unsettling cliffhangers. As a little background, this entire episode is themed on Thanksgiving, so it is naturally full with emotion, family, and conflict. The A Word, Generation Key Season 3 Episode 8 has a lot to discuss, so let's get started now. This will contain spoilers as usual, so if you haven't already watched it, head over to Showtime to do so. Let's begin. Another sunny day when we begin seems to be a terrible omen for the L Word group. Even so, it's a pleasant moment when our favorite Carrie tells Finley that Misty is coming along for the run. She confronts Finley about texting Sophie. May this lead to a reconciliation. I find it extremely soothing how Carrie has adopted this maternal role for Finley. Misty and Carrie set off for their run together. Finley observes Tess returning to work one day early. We presume this is because she doesn't want to be by herself. We learn that her mother had regrettably passed away in last week's episode. After giving her some consolation, Finley is shocked to see her mother show up at work. This was not a pleasant surprise. Later, her friend describes Finley's mother as a bigot, which is a perfect description of the woman. A little while later, we observe that Finley calls Sophie and invites her to the restaurant. Flashback to Danny and Drew after their shared overnight. Danny is hearing from Drew how thrilled she is to see her relatives. She is unfortunately stuck because the storm prevents her from flying away. Making it as comfortable as she can, Danny invites her to stay with her. Although disappointed, Drew is content to be with Danny. The scene then shifts to Angie, who spots her ex Hendrix with a new woman. She becomes enraged by this conversation and flees. After that, she was off on Shane, telling her that she thinks he was with that girl when they were seeing each other. Then they notice Hendrix with the new woman. He appears to establish their relationship by grabbing her waist and hip. Sophie persuades her family to dine there. She says that all she is doing is being Finley's friend. To be honest, Finley does require a circle of pals at this time, because she is obviously upset with the way her mother is treating her. It will be important later on, I promise. Micah takes a gummy to help with his anxiety, which makes him hungry. At this point, one of the Thanksgiving dishes has the ring Maribel was intending to use to pop the question to Micah. Anything that delays a proposal is beneficial to me because I'm still not sure how I feel about this relationship. Jumping to Carrie and Misty in the middle of their walk. When Carrie's employer shows in, she inquires about Misty. Misty seemed to get a little freaked out when Carrie introduces her as her girlfriend and then jogs in front of her. Carrie attempts to run as well but has some difficulty. Flashback to the family gathering at the restaurant where Sophie and Maribel are eating. A text message informs Micah that a donor match has been verified. Finley says that she is leaving her father during some little tension between her and her mother. Finley is stunned. Thanksgiving is being celebrated in private by Drew and Danny. Danny confides in Drew about the death of her mother and the fact that her father is incarcerated. They make the decision to travel to the restaurant with the group. Finley attempts to be open with her mother and apologizes to her, but when her mother is generally unpleasant to her, it backfires. She is consoled by Sophie. In Hendrix's vehicle, Angie notices her book. Shane assists her in grabbing the book after she breaks the window. When Hendrix notices the book is missing, he immediately realizes it was Angie. When Carrie and Misty arrive at the restaurant, Carrie overhears her mother make offensive remarks about Finley. We see Finley accepting the family she deserves, especially Carrie as her stepmother, when Carrie urges her to go. As Carrie's arm begins to hurt, things take a dark turn as she falls to the ground. As Carrie calls 911, Finley concludes the episode by frantically attempting to revive her. Maribel asks Micah to marry her after discovering the engagement ring. How could everything that happened in this episode, which was packed with so much drama, happen in one day? How would you rate this episode? 